to Owning a Piece of America. I'm Faith Bautista. A few things immediately come to mind when thinking about our neighbors up north. Maple syrup, Tim Hortons, hockey, and the beautiful outdoors. Born and raised in Canada, our next guest shares how he lives out his American dream by embracing the outdoors and bringing others along for the adventure. Here's Krista Kleiner with a story. Hi everyone, it's your girl Krista Kleiner. Canadian migration to the United States has historically fluctuated depending on the economic opportunities available. Growing up in Canada, Tristan Ham was on a constant mission to pursue what he loved. He started welding at the young age of 14, found his artistic side through trades work, and pursued his passion for the outdoors through traveling and camping in the Canadian wilderness. Canada's opportunities for trades work soon led Tristan down the path of the pipeline construction industry. Despite the economic recession that hit, he found himself becoming a leader in the pipeline industry, working some of the largest projects in Canadian history, winning various environmental and safety awards. However, Tristan felt the call for something more. He had heard of the term the American dream, but didn't fully comprehend what this meant until he moved to LA in 2014. Being in LA allowed Tristan to turn his passion for the outdoors into a business. Provide That Doors is the birth child of this Canadian's dream to connect people through nature and adventure. Last year alone, it ran over 200 trips around California, Hawaii, Alaska, Utah, and Canada, taking thousands of people on an adventure of a lifetime. Today I'm here in Mammoth Lakes to interview Mr. Adventure himself, Tristan Ham. This happens to be one of his favorite locations to take people to, and you can obviously see why. It's extremely peaceful and breathtaking. Let's go see if we can find him. There he is. Hey, what's up, Tristan? Hey, what's going on? Are you ready for this interview? I mean, I guess so. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, come down. How was it up there? Hey, good to see you. <laughs> it was amazing. You. How was your hike? Oh, good. Just a good little workout. Yeah, no doubt. So is this. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. It's pretty rad to get to call going rock climbing and taking people rock climbing part of your job. I mean, there's no better way to live. Absolutely agree. Yeah. yeah. So what exactly inspired Revived Outdoors? You know what? I think the best way to explain that to you is to actually show you. Let me get you some gear. No, no. Put it right through your harness here. So this can basically hold the weight of a car. You're comfortable with it. There's no way you're going to fall. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you see that crack? You're going to kind of follow the crack all the way through to the top. And you're going to be pushing up in your feet, reaching out with your hands, and just looking for any kind of little pockets. Whenever you find a pocket, just grab a good grip, look down, point your toes onto any little pocket for your toes, mm -hmm. and just step up like a ladder. Extremely easy. Sure. No problem. One step at a time. Keep your knees pointed out. <sighs> yep. Find a little spot to your feet. There you go. So that's that side oh fall I was telling you about, remember? Boom, yeah. you're killing it. How's it feel up there? Oh, Take hi. a look. Oh. Turn around and look around. No, I don't know. I don't want to look. Good job. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <Good job. laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How is it? Very amazing. Okay, so this is what it's all about. This is what you're feeling right now. That rush of adrenaline is the yeah. reason that uh, we do these trips for people. I love it. Let's chat some more. Yeah. Get this. <laughs> get this off me. <laughs> well, I still can't get over that. You actually got me to climb that rock. <laughs> well, you killed it. I mean, you ran up it. So you're saying there's more to your inspiration of why you started Revive Outdoors. So what's the other part? Revive Outdoors is completely centered around self-development a supportive community that help people get over their fears in life. You know, pushing people past their limits, helping them crush fear. And I think there's no better way to do that than in nature, in adventure. Well, that's a very noble motivation. I myself actually, a number of years ago, left to go work and live in the Philippines. And so I'm very familiar with what comes along with packing up and moving and starting over in a new country. Can you tell me a little bit about what your experience was like leaving Canada and starting over in LA? I had my career lined up for me and moving to the United States was a huge move because it meant throwing away my career opportunity to trace something bigger. Yeah. And something bigger was for me inspiring millions of people around the world. 
Well, I really admire you taking that leap of faith to see what else the world had to offer. Mm -hmm. While the US and Canada are sister bordering countries and have a lot in common, what are some things that are unique to Canadian culture that you feel connected to? Uh, for me, it's definitely the wilderness. There's something magical about the wildlife in Canada, the moose, the grizzlies, and I'm definitely connected to them, so I miss that. I understand that you incorporate various ways of giving back to the community and environment, hosting free local community events, mm -hmm. environmental cleanups, always making sure you leave everywhere you go cleaner than when you arrived. You mentioned that there was something a little bit more personal to the side of your community outreach, so can you share a bit about that with me? I read a book a long time ago, it's called Releasing the Buddha Within, and it really connected with me. A friend of mine recommended it, and it made me realize that you know, everybody has a fire inside of them. And it's just about surrounding yourself with the right people to help release that fire, to really be their best self. The Revive Outdoors is also about self-development. This has helped brought people that were suffering with depression, anxiety, addictions into our programs and help them see a brighter light in their life. Well, that's a very deep way of giving back to the community, especially given the drug abuse and mental health issues that our community faces at the moment. Yes. And I commend you for doing that, despite the complexities Thank that you. are involved. Thank you. You've done a really great job at carving the specific niche for you based upon your passions. What advice do you have for other immigrants that are looking to find their own path yeah. and create the American dream for themselves? I think that if you're looking to do that, then that means that you have something inside of you trying to tell you to do that. And to anybody that asks that question, I say don't overthink it and just follow your intuition. There's a lot of people in your life that are gonna tell you, no, it's gonna be too hard. The government is gonna say visas, this, that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Follow your intuition, follow your heart. I guarantee you that you're gonna to get to what you want. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us and yes. for taking me on an adventure that I will never forget. <laughs> it was really an honor to have you on the show. Well, thanks for coming all the way out here to Mammoth Lakes to experience it. And uh, we're not finished yet. We're going horseback riding. Okay. Friends, don't go away. Because when we come back, Erica Cardenas shows us why there are so many fans of Paul. We'll be right back.